you're looking for somewhere for your dog to have an amazing time while you're at work, then you're gonna love today's episode. This week on Check It Out Milton, we're checking out Happy Paws Doggy Play School. Happy Paws Doggy Play School is located at 28 Bronte Street South. When you walk in, you're going to be greeted with lots of photos of happy pups on the wall. The owner, Letitia, truly loves the dogs and it shows. The dogs love and respect her too. But I'll let her tell you a little bit more about Happy Paws. Thank you so much for having me here today, Letitia. I really appreciate it. So tell me a little bit about tell me a little bit about your business. So we're a doggy daycare. So basically a place where you leave your dogs during the day while you're at work or if you have to run some errands. We uh, practice positive reinforcement training with them. And we also do basic training with the puppies, so potty training, socialization. Um, there's lots of benefits to daycare. If your dog's destructive at home, when they're exercised and mentally stimulated, I find they're a lot more calm. So it's great because when your dog goes home, they're tired because they're here all day doing all this craziness. And uh, it's great for socialization because when you're on your walks and you see other dogs, uh, they're not as reactive because they get to see all their friends. Hey, come here. Thank you. <laughs> Every time I talk, they just bark over. I know. Me. <laughs> We've been open since March 2015. Our previous location was at Seals Avenue, but we've been at this location since March of 2018. Okay. So just over a year now. What we do is we do a meet and greet with every new dog. So they'll come in with their owner. We'll do a behavioral assessment to assess their needs and uh, find the best way we can accommodate them. Make sure there's no unwarranted aggression, of course, and make sure we get all the vaccination records. Um, but once they're in, they get to socialize with dogs of all different sizes. Certain dogs don't like to be together, but most of them here, they like to kind of hang out together. There you go. And they, they do go home very tired because they don't stop while they're here. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> then they go home and then when everybody's tired from work, they can just cuddle with their dogs. They get the best part. Yeah. <laughs> we get the crazy parts, <laughs> but we love it. Yeah. Here you go, Sadie. Like, Sadie, you're going to be so tired because you just play fetch all day. Do yeah. people come, like, will they bring their dog every day or like how, what is the schedule usually that you find? So it depends. We do have full-time dogs. Like we have prepared <coughs> kind of packages for uh, more full-timers. Hey, guys. So we have like a 10 day package, which is 280 for 10 full days. So usually it's $35 for a full day. If you pay for 10 days at a time, you get a discount per day. So some of our full-timers, they pay, they prepay like, on a monthly basis and they'll come full time. Um, other dogs, if their parents are just retired or they're stay at home or the stay at home moms, they kind of just, when they're doing errands, they'll drop their dog off for a couple of hours to get them tired. Or in the winter, especially when people don't want to go outside as much, you know, here we bring them out for 20 minutes at a time, bring them in and it's like a constant go, go thing. And uh, just when their dog needs to get some extra energy out, I can see how you love them, right? And oh, yeah. they... They're like my family. I yeah. always say I know more dogs than I do people at this point. <laughs> and it, it's people's names that I have a hard time with. The dogs, you know, I'll hear them barking and I know exactly who's barking based on their bark. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. You know like all of their names. Oh, and yeah. Like, their mannerisms and their history and everything. Well, each dog is completely unique, um, but it's funny how you put them all together and they kind of sort themselves out. And as long as you're a good leader, they tend to follow the rules. Some of these guys are literally like family. They've been coming for many years and uh, it's like we literally raised them, right? Because yeah. I always say it takes a village to raise a puppy too. Yeah. yeah. Right here. Okay. Thank you. Are you so tough? Are you so tough, Doogie? Yeah. your baby, right? Yes. He likes to be the referee, the guard dog. He just likes to tell everyone off. He was raised here actually. Originally, um, he was a client of mine and they couldn't care for him anymore. So they kind of left him in my care and I, then I adopted him. So kind of, I can't have that happen again or I'll have too many dogs. <laughs> but if I could, I would I have all these dogs, but this is kind of like the next best thing, right? So I've worked in, in lots of different ways with animals and I find this is my favorite. Like I wanted to go to school to be a vet, but I thought I'd rather be around dogs when they're enjoying themselves rather than when they're in pain or they're sick, so. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, for sure. This these guys, is like fun. you it's should see them pull in. It's so funny, they pull up and their parents will say, they say, say like, you wanna go to daycare? And the dog knows exactly what daycare means. Yeah. And then they freak out or if they drive by and they're going somewhere else, the dog will start freaking out yeah. and they just pull their owner through the door, like yank their arm off. Aww. Cause they can't wait to come see their friends. That's some so some dogs don't even want to leave. Like I've been told Hazel right there, every time they come pick her up, she won't even leave. Aww. She won't come to her parents because she doesn't want to go home. Go home. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing with kids, right? When they're at a birthday party, they don't want to go home. They want to 
stay yeah, and play with their friends. They stay and play with their friends. <laughs> yeah. They all get along so well. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely certain dogs don't like each other, but I find outside they kind of just separate themselves and keep them to themselves. Like, there's a lot of room out here, so if they don't want to be in each other's faces, they know how to kind of make that decision. She loves you. <laughs> Phoebe! She just loves the camera. <laughs> If people want to get some more information about Happy Paws, what would be the best way for them to do that? We have a Facebook page as well as a website. So our website is happypawsplayschool.com and our Facebook should be uh, happypawsdoggyplayschool.com and also our email is info at happypawsplayschool.com. So you can message our Facebook page, email us, just look on our website for info. Um, I'll always respond on the Facebook page and the email as well. Uh, emails directly to me. Um, and we have a lot of our pricings and everything listed online. We have some prepaid package options that you would need to inquire with us about. Um, but yeah, our, our Facebook and our website are best for information. Okay, great. Okay, awesome. Thank you so right. much. Thank you. <laughs> so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to follow Happy Paws. I'm going to make sure that I have their Instagram and Facebook here and we'll see you next week, Milton.